Yeah, that's going. Video's going. Let's see here. Yeah, looks like the mic's good. Levels. Right. Okay. Are you ready? I'm ready. I'm not. Okay, let's start. Time to go. I don't remember how. <sighs> okay, you're gonna start. You ready? I never start. Don't look at me. <laughs> We're back and better than ever. Yeah, right. Greetings, gentle viewers. Howdy, howdy, howdy. We're the Opinionator. I... I'm We Squared. Uh... <laughs> No, really, we really are back! <laughs> now for all two of you that are still watching... We're the bittersweet gamers, and we're so pathetic! <laughs> okay, I'm the Opinionator! And I'm We Squared! For those of you that have forgotten, never knew in the first place, or are new and for some reason are watching this, I guess I'm also Damon! And I'm Billy! We always use our handles in the beginning and never at any other point in time. <laughs> Why? I don't know, we've just done it that way, so it's the way it is. And we're scared of change. Because we're old. <laughs> if you can't detect the sarcasm, <laughs> I will kill you. <laughs> Long ago, we said we would do all of Danganronpa. So here we are with Danganronpa V3. It seems to be the most divisive entry in the series. Which means it's right up our alley. <laughs> Speaking of divisive, we're the bittersweet gamers. We already did that joke. See, I told you, we don't know <laughs> what we're doing anymore. But that's never stopped us before. In case you forgot, we talk about a lot of things. Because I don't see why we shouldn't. Why else are you watching us play a video game? I if mean, you wanted to see the video game, just play it for yourself. Or you know? watch somebody else doing it. Yeah? What? You're here for our jokes? I mean, Why? May maybe occasionally we're kind of funny, but not that often. The only thing that sets us apart is that we take these games really seriously. There aren't a lot of people who apparently do, at least as far as YouTubers go. Yeah, yeah. That's more or less what we do. Everybody seems to hate our opinions and think we're wrong about everything, but <laughs> hey, I hate your opinion and think you're wrong too. No. So it all works out. Down, boy, down. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that a little too serious? We better start over. A little too bitter, not enough sweet, yo. No, 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 I'm just joking. <laughs> really, if you're actually here, and I'm sure three people or so are actually going to watch this video. Oh, it's gone up from two. <laughs> I'm glad that you're back. I'm indifferent. Billy, come on! <laughs> okay, okay, no, we're really going. <laughs> if we haven't chased you off yet, odds are lower that we'll chase you off in the next 15 minutes. <laughs> Probably. Is that a challenge? <laughs> no, 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 no. We're gonna go for real now. Okay, just so you know, we have seen the Danganronpa anime up to this point. I don't mean the adaptation of the first one. Right. That looks like terrifying trash. But uh, we saw the Danganronpa... Three? I think it was just called three? Yeah, because this is V3. It's yeah. not three. It's something else. But anyway, yeah, the hope and future and despair arc get the all that. Uh, we're not going to talk about it. Unless it becomes relevant to what's happening in the game. Yeah, then, then we'll say, yeah. Yes. Perhaps. Good. Glad to see we're all on the same page. My confidence. It is gone. Oh, by the way. This is a message from the future. The future? Yes, from when BSG has already recorded eight episodes. Eight whole episodes? Yes, it's not that big of a deal. Drop it. You're killing the joke here. Anyway, I put together an outro. It's been a while since I've done one of those, right? An outro? That's what it sounds like. Dang, you're right. That is cheesy. But the outro! I'd really like for you to watch it and let me know what you think. Obviously, it's at the very end. So watch it at the end, or go watch it right now. Just just watch it, and let me know what you think. Okay, future BSG, outsies. Future BSG, outsies, woo! All right, enough playing around. Let's play around. Yeah, I'm the one playing. Oh, I, ha I do that. <laughs> We're gonna do great. Wow, it's just gonna play the opening, huh? I'm sure we'll play another opening at a certain point. So, just to be uh, clear, in case there's any doubt, our favorite entry in this series is actually Ultra Despair Girls. Easily. 
It was the most consistent, the most artistic, I think. And it made us actually think for a second that Junko was a worthwhile opponent. Just for a second, though. <laughs> Don't worry, Danganronpa 3, the anime, actually made sure to get oh. rid of that part. Oh, God. Ah, that's why it's playing the opening, because it's really just a nostalgia fest. I'm given to understand this game it has a little bit of that. Well, what do you mean? Well, look at this! It's just playing stuff from the previous entries in the series, including the anime right here. Yeah, I thought that was just more of a, to remind us of the sort of thing that happened. Yeah, and by starting with that, instead of having the game's actual new characters, ah, I'm calling it a nostalgia fest. Fair enough. I mean, it did seem pretty over with the anime, but here we go, I guess. Seems bad, but seems expected. <laughs> I mean, what did you think was going to happen in this game? A cook-off? Cooking with Motokuma! Uh, <laughs> I do like salmon, though. Killing Harmony. What did she ever do? Nothing! <laughs> This seems like the perfect time to break out the casting list! <gasps> Not the casting list! It is true. The time has come. The first line of the game! I mean, when else are we going to do it? I guess we can move on to the next one. We still don't know! <laughs> all right, all right, I'm looking at the list already. Uh, let's so see our here. list has a color palette and a description. We we don't know anything about the characters. Does the exact same way we did Danganronpa 2. Well, we appear to have a problem, David. Yes? None of the descriptions say question mark, and we don't know the color palette of the characters speaking. I suppose you're right, but we can't not... So give me this. First character to appear. Well, the character hasn't technically appeared yet, have they? I'll behave. That is really weird, though. I'm the one who's actually, you know, playing. According to the instructions bestowed upon me, it'll look weird, but we just gotta roll with it. Okay, if you say so, and if it's wrong, Discord, it's your fault. Ah, abdicating responsibility, our favorite pastime. No, I'm pretty sure I like Gundam more than abdicating responsibility. Nothing, no light, no sound, no form, no voice. I am a ghost. Ooh. Oh, don't hit that button. Hitting the button too fast, so I don't know what I said. Ah, we're so professional. No knowledge of who I am. What? Who I am? Who am I? Well, you're a girl, first character to appear, according to our casting list. That's not going to fit in the text box. I extend a hand. A hand that belongs to no one. I don't know where I got it. I just found it lying on the floor. What? To take hold of my existence. Oh, wow. Nice Aho game. This is me. Well, that's how you know that she's the protagonist. Yeah, apparently so. And this is weird. This is very weird. Because if you're going to be the perspective character and I have the controller. I trust the Discorders, man. Trust the Discorders. I have trust in no one. <laughs> Not even yourself. Actually, that's pretty accurate. By the way, Billy. Yeah. Did you notice that she appeared to have uh, emerged from a locker? Yeah, yeah. She must have been trying to find her way to the pool room. No, no. She came from somewhere via the secret passage in the back of the locker. <laughs> My name is Kaede Akamatsu. I just remembered who I am. Nice to meet me. Yeah, that's, that's a pretty weird intro to the character. I'm the protagonist of this crazy story. Well, looks like Danganronpa, all right. Mm-hmm. Ultimate Revival. Dots. More dots. I stumbled out of the locker in a daze, but as soon as I did, I fell on the floor. Wow. Look at the barbed wire. <laughs> and I think it's a little more stylish than the cartoonishly giant metal plates that were over the second game. Yeah, but not nearly as effective unless it's electrified. Is the window all broken? I think that's supposed to be leaves outside of it? Like it's leaves from a tree? And then we have like the cyborg blackboard. <laughs> 
It's like an LCD screen. I wonder when this is going to be. Uh, I assume, which is always a bad thing to do in these games, that it's going to take place after the anime. Uh, well, it has to! So that means that at the end of the anime, Makoto had become the principal of Hope's Peak. Yes. So we don't actually know where this is or when this is. Maybe this is 40 years later. Maybe this is some type of shelter on the moon distant in the future. No, I think you're talking about something else there, Damon. Maybe we're in an underwater amusement park. <laughs> just just going to go through the list and tick them all, huh? Hmm. By the way, we always get a lot of people, every time I have to say the name Makoto, uh, people get really upset because they're like, no, it's Makoto. Look, you can say whatever you want. I don't care. I'm not going to correct anybody else, but that's how you say the name in Japanese. <laughs> and, and, and if you bother me enough, by pointing this out that I'm not saying Makoto or whatever, I will post a giant video compilation of people <laughs> saying the word Makoto in Japanese. Say whatever you want, I don't care. Get off my back! Calm down, David, calm down! I'll kill every figurative person! It's too early in the video to be that angry. You gotta give the game time to really ruffle your feathers. Ah, good point, good point. <laughs> I couldn't even brace for impact as blinding pain suddenly rushed through my head. Maybe the entire time we were talking, she was like slowly <laughs> falling to the floor. <laughs> See, that, that means that it was under low gravity. Moon confirmed! <laughs> well, then she wouldn't hurt herself when she fell. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> Maybe she took a secret passage. No. Should I stop? You should stop. Okay. No! But thanks to that pain, I went from dazed to annoyed real quick. Huh? Wait, where am I? What is this place? Huh? Don't give me huh! Oh, you're gonna get huhs, buddy. This is a Dongan Rompa game. <sighs> In Japanese, there's like six or seven different ways to, to express something like huh, but. Just in Danganronpa 1, not in 2, and not in Ultra Despair Girls, but in Danganronpa 1, I mean, huh, was in the script like 4,000 times! Uh, yeah, they even called back to it in 2, and in our video of it, you actually posted a compilation of all the huts from 1. Do you remember that? I did? Yeah. It was during one of the uh, trial breakdowns. Huh? Huh? <laughs> I rubbed my throbbing forehead. Yep, this is definitely going to leave a bump. I looked around. A classroom? Huh. All Don't the... you start. Oh no, I did say ha! Huh. It's my fault! So there's keyboards at all the desks. Yeah, this appears to be some sort of AV class. I'd imagine? No, this is probably like futuristic class. Dongan Rompa was already in the future anyway. Yeah, that's true. That's and this true. this must be at the far future end. Well, I mean, look, the last time, may, I mean, maybe we're in robo school, <laughs> but that's still got to be in the future robo. <laughs> yes, you are quite correct, robo. Well, because the last school we saw was Hope's Peak, uh -huh. right? Uh -huh. The cutting edge school yeah. in the world, right? Much more cutting -er edge -er. And it's after the Bob event, so that means that if that school didn't have like this super technological setup... Then it just makes sense that, due to the progression of technology, that this one would. Well, I mean, actually what I'm saying is I think we're in the future. I was also saying that in an incredibly roundabout and obtuse way. Also, for clarification, the Bob event refers to... The most awful, most terrible, most horrible, most heinous event, blah, 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 blah. We just call it the Bob event because it's funnier and quicker to say. Thinking about that, like, th those things really were broadcast all over the world, like, three times, right? Yeah! Okay, like, so everybody should know what it is. Uh, yeah, there should be no confusion as to what's going on once Monokuma appears. She ought to know, and the other kids here ought to know what this is, right? Yeah! I mean, otherwise, don't have 50-foot-tall robots stomping through towns, <laughs> or cities, rather, and, and it's, like, displayed all over the world, economies crashing, mass hypnosis satellites from overrated, overhyped, incompetent villains. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, this is a classroom, all right, but I don't recognize it. Where am I? What am I doing here? By the way, we still haven't pointed out all those speakers 
on the uh, class intercom system. I don't know if that's there to like do some kind of a sonic attack or what. Oh, and it's and it's overgrown. Uh, yeah. Like Hope's, vines. Hope's Peak Two was well, no, that was only overgrown on the outside, actually. That also seems to say that it's in the future after the place has been abandoned. Yeah. So this is either Hope's Peak, which makes sense because. If we don't count Ultra Despair Girls, which was not a killing game, right? then that leaves us with three. Two of those three were in Hope's Peak, and the other one was in a digital representation of uh, an Jab island. Jabberwock Island. Yeah, yeah so, it, okay, it doesn't have anything to do with anything. Hope's Peak was present in that game. Yeah, that's, uh, yeah, 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 that's what I was trying to get at. So it would only make sense if this is either Hope's Peak or a representation. Of Hope's Peak on the moon, yes. Well, it doesn't have to be on the moon. <laughs> Well, no, you got my hopes Nightmare up Nightmare in the Locker is the name of the music. <laughs> you got my hopes up for it being on the moon, so you have to take responsibility now. <laughs> is this a dream? I just have to pinch myself, right? So I apparently grabbed my face with the entirety of my hand and ripped it off based on the sound effect. Jeez. Um. Oh, I know, I hit the button again. Sorry, I've been playing some older Japanese games that use a different, it doesn't matter. But all that did was make my head hurt in two places instead of one. Um, okay, hold on a sec. Let's just stay calm and think this through. I, I love her, aha, uh -huh, <laughs> yeah. finger. Confused as I was, I tried to remember how I ended up here. But no matter how hard I tried, in the end, I just couldn't shake the feeling that I saw a man in a gas mask and then white smoke came everywhere and... Oh, no, wait, that's something else. Hence the moon. <laughs> Bam! Oh, no, I have angered the locker gods! <laughs> <laughs> Suddenly, the locker... It is the locker gods! <laughs> the nightmare at the locker! <laughs> there he is! He's the nightmare! Suddenly, the locker next to mine started swaying and shaking, making all kinds of noise. As I fearfully turned around, the locker door slowly opened <gasps> and... Oh my god, a boy! <laughs> a boy came stumbling out. Gasp! <laughs> hmm. Okay, now who is this? I assume it's me. Give me one second and I'll check the list. Boy with hat, check. Color palette, check. It's you. Okay, okay, let me let me give a much better characterized delivery of this line. <clears throat> ba, ba, ba. <laughs> Hung. How was that? 10 out of 10. A normal boy dressed in a school uniform. In fact, he might be a high school student too. He looked bewildered, and when he slowly lifted his head... Weird lower eyelashes. They're like disconnected from his eye. <laughs> Ah! Uh, ah! Oh, oh, <laughs> he screamed as if he'd just seen a monster. Fell on his butt and scooted back. He's How rude! That's not on his butt or back. Ah, the uh. dog got no puck cardboard aesthetic. Who, who are you? Are you with those other guys? Huh? What other guys? The people who kidnapped me! Well, kind of uh. technically because they kidnapped me too, so I guess I am sort of with them and kidnapped? Wait! Where am I? What are you gonna do to me? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> you are with them! Hey, hold on! I firmly gripped his shoulders. You know? What's your name? That's what you do after firmly gripping shoulders? My interpersonal skills are top notch. So this person must be the secondary main character because that's always how it works when you have two people in the killing game wake up next to each other. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh? Your name's Huh. Nice to meet you, Mr. Huh. I'll kill you <laughs> all. Every last figurative one of you. Uh, um. I'm Shuichi Saihara. Yeah. I'm Kaede Akamatsu. Now listen to me, Shuichi. Got it? Shut up! You're not the only one who's confused right now. <laughs> Shut up, she explained. <laughs> huh? Oh, that's sorry? After making him shut up, now, hey. I retraced my steps again. What, are you, what is the problem here? <laughs> That's right. I was kidnapped too. So 
So she's an idiot. I was walking my usual route to school when all of a sudden someone shoved me into a car. Hmm. I shouted for help, but no one came to rescue me. Everyone pretended like nothing happened. It made me think how rotten the world is. That is that really what would happen? Well, what do you mean? Oh, like the bystander effect to that degree? Yeah, well, I mean, sometimes, I guess. Well, as the focus character and one of the protagonists, uh, in a game of this nature, maybe we shouldn't be too trusting that her memory is accurate. Hmm. Yeah, good point, good point. And besides, it, that, that's a meaningless... It doesn't really matter that much. Yeah. And then, I lost consciousness. That's right. And when I woke up, I was inside that locker. The locker wasn't a secret passage then, it was a teleport device. So we're actually underwater in the ruins of Mu. <laughs> huh? Same with me. Were we kidnapped by the same people? Are you implying that there are multiple kidnapping groups who kidnap different people, but aren't with each other and take them to the same place? Do you think this is kidnap con? I, I, you're <laughs> well said. My logic is infallible. That is good logic. Uh, it seems like it. Jeez. But why me? My family's not rich and I'm no one special. I'm just a normal high school girl, right? Well, it's true that they both do look extremely normal, which is actually, well, kind they're the first for this series. But they're the main characters, I guess, so that's not too weird. There's no reason to kidnap me. Uh, okay. Me either. I'm just a regular guy. And this is a school, right? Why did they take us to a school? Um. I wonder why. Hey there! Ah! I'm ah. sure you're confused right now. You're thinking, where am I? Who's this voice inside my head? Well, I can't explain that. <laughs> but I can give a basic explanation about the controls. Oh, this sounds informational. Use the LS stick to Which control stick? the... What? Which stick? The LS stick. I, I don't see a stick that says LS on it. That's because I have the controller. This is so confusing. Besides, it's the left stick stick. <laughs> when you have your target in your sights, press the a button to investigate <laughs> it. <laughs> the RS stick, that's right stick stick. Oh, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Controls your view. Get a good look at your surroundings. You can also press the herb button to smack objects around. Oh, I like where this is going. Oh, that sounds great. <laughs> you mean I can just be like, hey, Shuichi, pow, and nail him <laughs> right into kisser? <laughs> Who knows? You might find something amazing. You can always press the oomb button to return objects to their original position. Oh, cool. So it's like you can travel back in time to repair your damage. <laughs> However, not every object can be moved. I am out of gas and no longer want to continue this narrating gag. Thank you for understanding. So, perspective character, how's it like with the controller you don't have? Nothing. No light. No sound. Herb! No sense of self. Oh my god! Sekiha Tenkyoken! I mean, is he just like... <laughs> Hundred palm striking everything that moves or stands still. My Kaede woke up this morning and chose violence. <laughs> oh my god, look. Gaining experience points doing this. <laughs> Alright, well, just encouraging us to uh, give in to our more basic natures here. Like, on the one hand, it's cool to smash everything, but you're saying that we're actually <laughs> encouraged to do it? Yeah, yeah, take this, Shuichi! <laughs> okay, never doing that again. Locker. We woke up inside of these lockers. Yeah, they clearly have a visible back, so they must be teleporters. <laughs> but why were we in these lockers in the first place? You know, the locker doesn't look like it belongs there. Well, none, none of them did. That's what made us suspicious about him in the first game. You know you're right! <laughs> I mean, it's deliberately in front of the freaking calendar. It's like they put them in the lockers, then carried the lockers in. I think it would have been easier to move the lockers first than them, instead of trying to carry the whole combined weight. 
does that really matter right now? <laughs> You're the one who brought it up. I brought up teleporters and it being unusual. You're the one getting practical. That's a blackboard, right? Every classroom has one, but... Why is it called a blackboard anyway? It's green. Yeah, it's a dark green. But you always call them blackboards. Well, it, yeah, I don't think I've ever seen a black blackboard. Then again, I, I guess I don't really know anything about how they're made. But they're not this green. This is a digital screen. Yes. This blackboard is also an LCD screen. See? That's something you don't see every day. So it is 150 years in the future. Oh, sorry. After venting my frustration on some more death. Outside of the window is covered in greenery and barbed wire? Well, that's the inside. I don't know why I called that the outside. Is there some reason that you couldn't just crawl through, like break the window and crawl through the barbed wire? Maybe the window's bulletproof. Why are the school windows covered in barbed wire? All right. Hey, watch where you're putting that reticle, buddy. <laughs> okay, <laughs> enough of that. Enough we of that. are 40 years old, David. Come on now. Shuichi Saihara. Right, trying to remember everybody's names. Kaede Akamatsu, yeah. right? Okay, yeah, yeah. okay. Um. Anyway, let's just stay calm and think. I'm sorry I shouted at you earlier. No. Ah, no, it, it's okay. Oh, so I can shout at you more? I'd prefer that you didn't really. <laughs> ah, I shouldn't have yelled at you. Hey. Anyway, this place is weird. You don't think we got caught up in something bad, do you? No, Shuichi. I think we got kidnapped for a surprise birthday party. That does make sense. Barbed wire, lockers... Oh my god. Uh... Something bad. What's going on? What have we gotten ourselves into? No, I think you were right. It's a surprise birthday party. Everything makes sense. Overgrowth... You Where am him? I? Why was I kidnapped? Who is this strange man rambling in my brain? And who kidnapped me? Press the LSS. I'll press your LSS. What are we talking about? <laughs> I don't understand anything, least of all this. But that doesn't matter. At least for now. Hey. Let's just get out of here as fast as we can and find some help. Uh, okay. Yeah, good idea. We ran as fast as we could to the classroom door and opened it with all our strength, which was probably unnecessary. But then... Oh! Hell yeah! Found you! Oh! What? Oh! oh no! Is... Why is there a very small combat robot out here? Well, it seems this game is directly pandering for you, David. Well, actually, if you think about it, Danganronpa 1 was the only one that didn't have a, a bunch of... Oh, yeah! Not only did 2 have the Mono Beef, it had Mechamaru and then Ultra Despair Girls. Well, okay, like well, Big two, two, oh. 2 had the Mono Beasts anyway, but they're not piloted. But, you know, there there was quite a lot of piloted robot action or remote control. That's close enough. <laughs> No AI robots, though. That's not nearly so interesting. That doesn't count. Nope, does not count. Um, why is there a laughing robot in the hall? Well, where else do you think it's going to be? This is the hall monitor, you understand. This is the new <laughs> Oak Peak hall monitor! <laughs> what? Wh what do you mean? What? what? Isn't it more like, what? Well, it hasn't a quite- monster? It hasn't quite sunk in yet, you see. No, that is not a monster, it's a robot. <laughs> I love how it's doing the mono eye noise. Yeah! I mean, it does have a mono eye. It just looks like it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight mono eyes. <laughs> this is bad. We need to get out of here. Understatement. Yeah, of the century. Uh, okay. Wait, 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 Not when you say it like that. That is not how you pursue a woman. <laughs> This, is this like some kind of perv bot? Well, if if Monokuba has anything to do with it, probably. Huh? Oh! Ah! oh. Ah. Kaede, over here! Oh, cool! This must be one of those action segments. <laughs> I like look the sound at effect. Guns. 
Big ol' hand, blue. This is very exciting. <laughs> I like robots, okay? Oh, there's a pink one. Well, don't go towards it. It's got a tail. Uh, looks like it plugs in. Like maybe it recharges with it. Okay, but it's still a tail. Oh, that's true. <laughs> uh. Quick, do a stealth takedown. Now the thing to target looks like it would be the feet. Really, why would the why would this area be so unarmored as compared to like the upper thigh? Also, it's clearly not like piloted since it's got the tiny skinny little torso. I guess it would depend on the purpose for which it was built for. We are taking this far too seriously. <laughs> all, right, all right, all right, go. All right. Uh, whoa. Oh, ah! and now a yellow one. Ah. Don't go that way over here. So don't sit and look at the robots. That would that would appear to be the case, yes. But that's what I want to do. Look, I'm running away just fine. Ha ha! Doors! Your one weakness! I mean, I don't see why you couldn't just squeeze in, but... I mean, do, do you suppose that that, that, that cable is like... That, why would that be like an ammo belt, though? It doesn't look like it. Well, we don't know if that fires... Well, it's got an ammo clip, so it does fire bullets. What? Oh, you're right, it does. So, so what's it the must cable be a, for? a power source for the gun. Maybe it's a rail gun. Like a miniaturized rail gun, so it needs the electrical charge for the electromagnetic field. That actually makes perfect sense. <laughs> okay. It's got a little missile launcher on its left shoulder. I assume that's what that is. Like micro missiles yeah, yeah, possibly. Yeah. And then like a miniature ray dome. Interesting head. What's that say? X? E X e I can't quite make out what's on the yellow part because of the reflection. Are you sure that's an X and not a K? Uh, it could be. I think it was X. And it's a shield head. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Wait, and you I... were wondering why Kaede was reacting so calmly to this. <laughs> hey, I see robots. I behave this way. Ah, uh, jeez. What are those things? The robots come to kill us all. Ah! Woo! 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 Good thing my curiosity's been sated. Yeah, missiles right there. Oh, this Maybe. one's green. So it and looks like Sentai colors so far. We've had, we've had like green blue. and orangey yellow and blue. And pink. And pink. Yeah, yeah, okay. So we just need a red one to show up and we've got the full set. Yeah, that'll be the leader. The problem is you can't have Sentai real robots, man. And well, that is a real robot. Well, now hold on. Wasn't, uh, oh God, I can't remember the name of it. Wasn't there a Sentai that had real robots? I can't remember what it was called, but we even watched it. Well, like Go Buster, yeah, that was it. Has like cl has uh, close to a real robot. Then there's Ryu Soldier, which is pretty much a real. But don't worry about that. that those are not the norm. You know, I suppose that they were probably expecting me to just run. Jokes on them. <laughs> we're BSG. We never behave how anybody expects. A gym, is it? As we frantically dove towards the door, we saw. Something we never expected to see! We've already seen robots, so I can't make that joke. And lockers. Other students! Oh my they god! Have arrived. Human beings that <laughs> actually, on the whole, look kind of normal. Yeah. I mean, except for that, like, short little <laughs> smoking lollipop kid. <laughs> They're like really quite no I mean there's Phoenix Wright or maybe Kazuya from Tekken. <laughs> there's man with a blazer and loose tie. And everybody else. I mean there's big muscly Go Nagai character. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Why why do the, all the Dongan Rompas have a Go Nagai character? Why do they always have a weird short person? The first one didn't have a weird short person. Yeah, I guess it didn't have someone from such a distinctly different art style. But Danganronpa 3 had at least one person who would look kind of like that, but was very tall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least I didn't try to say that that was a high school student. <laughs> and then, then we have COVID Pandemic Man. And 
um, exploding out of chest and embarrassed about it, girl. <laughs> and, and a Gyaru? Is that what she is? The overly tan girl with the light hair? That guy. That that anachronistic person <laughs> with a bit more modern hair. <laughs> Speaking of modern, I don't see that super two-tone hair or three-tone hair that seems to be all the rage these days, you youngins. <laughs> Whippersnappers, get off my lawn, etc., etc. Huh? 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 Did you all get chased by that monster, too? Uh, oh, yeah. That person a second ago was definitely a high school student, <laughs> eh? What are they? What do they want with us? So is this guy. <laughs> do you want me to check on what's happening? You can't! It's too dangerous out there. It's likely that monster still lurks <laughs> nearby. <laughs> I'm calling it. That's the guy with the mask. That that is too cheesy. Wait. No, really. Everybody's kind of normal, right? No, a hundred percent. They're not nearly as flamboyant as a ultimate normally looks. I mean, there were always, like, a few normal-looking people, but, like, nobody has any props except for the lollipop thing. Who are you guys? And why am I here? And that makes 16. Uh-huh. Well, like you said, it'd be pretty unusual for someone not to be suspicious about this. Yeah, everybody here should know what this is, and th this is the magic number of 16. What? I'm talking about us. There are 16 of us, all high schoolers. What do you think that means? I mean, duh! <laughs> It'd be different if it was just some conspiracy, but it's a worldwide broadcast combined with, like, large-scale economic and social and political collapse culminating in, like, 50-meter-tall giant robots having battles in cities. Yes, you can't not know about this. Unless this is, like, you know... 400 years into the future or something, you know? Like, then I could see how maybe some people might not be so fresh on it. Yeah. 16 high schoolers? Yep, this is the gym, all right. Oh. Did you see the, like, the hologram basketball hoops? No. What the heck is the point of a holographic basketball hoop? What? <laughs> I mean, why does it need to glow? Well, Every I'll, I'll go back to that the next time we're really in the gym and get a look at it. This is the future, Damon. Everything glows. He doesn't glow. Well, let's check the cast list and see if he does glow. All right, I've confirmed. He doesn't glow. How and would, he's you. How would you know that? Because <laughs> it doesn't say boy who's glowing. It says boy with very pretty eyelashes. In the color palette? And the color palette matches up. That's the color palette, yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty good tie. I, I like that tie. I do too. He needs to tighten it up though. Don't wear a tie if you're gonna wear it that loose. Right? Oh, right. Didn't answer your question. My name is Rantaro Amami. I can give you my name. It's Rantaro Amami. Based on nothing but first impressions, I don't trust him. By the way, if you expect me to say Rantaro... <laughs> well, okay, David, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Nihongo ga wakaremasu kara ne! <laughs> so anyway. I'm sorry, bud. Let's leave it at that for now. What? Uh, uh, okay. Why are you confused? Then again, it took her a minute to figure out she was kidnapped. <laughs> she was like, how dare you like get loud and start freaking out? Let me think about this. Ah, yes, I too was kidnapped, just like you. So maybe this is that kind of thing. At she least... also might be kind of thrown off by how calm and collected he is after having just fled from a group of robots herself. She's probably still a little strung out, like on the combat high from that. Maybe so. Also, I guess they really weren't chasing anybody. They were hurting. Ah, potato, potato. But nobody says potato. So it's potato. <laughs> I mean, doesn't the, doesn't the truth of it actually completely destroy that saying? Right or wrong, I'm still going to keep saying it. You know... Whoops! Whoops! I keep hitting, like, the zoom forward button because oh. I'm an idiot. All right, Phoenix Wright. Phoenix Wright with a spiky goatee. Phoenix Wright with a spiky goatee. This is Rebel Phoenix Wright from when he was younger. 
I assume that's a red wife beater underneath his jacket. Boy with goatee, color palette, it's a me! I'm sorry, I'll never do that again. I forgive you. Anyway, why does it matter if there are 16 of us? There might be more coming. No. No, I think this is all of us. If this is what I think it is, anyway. What? Ah, yes, the part of the game where we have to get introduced to each character, comment on their physical distinctiveness, which there isn't much of. So this will be quick. Compared to the last game, I guess. Also, I noticed the name of the music, Rise of the Ultimates. All right. Girl with red eyes. I noticed from looking at this list that I appear to be most everybody. Well, if Kaede is an important character but isn't the protagonist, then that kind of makes sense? I mean, this is weird. I, I, I mean, shouldn't the person playing... Well, it doesn't matter. We were told to trust the Discorder. Are you expressing doubt? Me? Doubt? When have I ever trusted anything? Touché, I think. This is you. If this is what you think it is... Hey! <laughs> <laughs> so is this like pretty peach hair Akane? Does kind of seem that way. Maybe... Maybe w what with her dodecahedronal eyes? <laughs> well, no, I'm just saying, like, body language and stuff and, you know, what she's saying. Doesn't it just remind you of Akane? Yeah, but Akane wasn't ever quite that... Well, I don't want to say... She wasn't quite that vulgar. She was kind of rude, but she wasn't really vulgar, you know? Well, that's because she was really kind of like an animal and not a human. So is this a step up or a step down? Akane did it. It was Akane. <laughs> I feel like we're doing the greatest hits. Well, what do you expect? It's the fourth game that we've played in the series. A game that is known for referencing itself repeatedly. Anyway, girl with fine arts. This can only be her. There are no arts finer that I've seen so far. So far, yeah, and these, these would be fine no matter how you judge them. Damon. Huh, what? Pay attention. Oh, that's a greatest <laughs> hit too. Nice bow. <laughs> Real subtle. <laughs> what? You some kind of fucking know-it-all? If you know something, spit it out! It was at that moment, an unknown voice suddenly echoed throughout the gym. Okie dokie! Uh-huh. Well, I mean, we're in the gym. Okay! Quiet, everyone! Shimmy down! Shimmy down! I assume it's Monokuma there anyway. There was this English voice actor. Shimmy down? Yeah, you know, like, get down with your bad self. Don't you mean simmer down? I know what I said! <sighs> oh, no. That voice. Monomi's not in this game, is she? Hmm. No, no, no! It's Simmer Down! What? Blue. Ocean. Water. Okay, according to the list, girl with glasses, blue color palette, that would be me. Huh? Wh who's that? Where are they? The black. That really works. The black outline on her, like, neckerchief? Yeah. Yeah, it does really make it stand out, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for bearing with us! I guess that wasn't Monokuma. Well, that means it wasn't Usami, so I'm happy. S A N? Uh, that's kind of what it looks like with the light there. Exi Sun? I mean, it might be an L or an I. It, like I said, with that light in the way, it's hard to tell. So we've been kidnapped by combat robots. All your dreams have come true at once. But combat robots are the good guys, not the bad guys. Bad guys can have them too. Don't be so alignment -ish. But if the bad guys have combat robots and the good guys have black outlines on their neckerchief, on their uniform, this is a problem. But look at it this way, David. The bad guys should have a black outline on the <laughs> neckerchief, and the good guys should punish them with robots. Doesn't this mean that the good guys might eventually get robots to fight the bad guys? Not in Dongan Ropa. Y you never get a robot. You always fight robots. I mean, well, you know, it's possible. I'm just trying to give you a silver lining here. 
You're just trying to give me false hope, you jerk. Well, this is Don John Rumpa. <laughs> Damn it, there are more monsters. We're surrounded. Ah. Uh, out of curiosity, is there anything on the list? Well, these are monsters. They're Exosols. Oh, excellent. I was really curious about that last letter. Thank you for clarifying for us. That's what you're concerned about? And that's that. They're highly mobile bipedal weapons platforms. Huh? Weapons? Well, it wasn't an ice cream dispenser on its right arm. I guess it could be. It's never fired it. It's an ice cream dispenser that you load into your gun with a clip. With lead flavored bullets. Hell yeah! Exosol Tribe is the name of the music. <laughs> Should we take these for a spin by killing one of them? I would like to vote against that. Take them for a spin. Okay, it's there, there's definitely multiple people. Yes. So it's not just one, so it's five people that I guess are remote controlling yes. the Exosols. I guess they figured small robot teddy bears weren't up to the task. Well, they can fit into school with these, and we've we've had enough. There's gotta be Monokuma. Oh, of course, of course. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> All right, panicking girl. Nope, that's not on the list. Hold on. Girl with mole on her chin. Well, that's a mole on her chin. And that would be me. <clears throat> oh my God! Go spit that out. <laughs> ah! Wait a minute! It wouldn't be any fun picking up playing good for nothing commoners! You commoner! <laughs> You're right! We should at least think of an interesting way to kill you! How about old age? I find that very interesting! <laughs> <laughs> and then in 70 years... Oh no! I've died on my deathbed! How fascinating it all was! <laughs> Maybe I'll pick you up and squeeze you till your guts come gushing out like toothpaste! Ew. Oh boy. Wait! <laughs> Please! Not like toothpaste! Just pick any other metaphor! That's the problem, is toothpaste? <laughs> <laughs> I just imagined it! I can't handle gore! Well? Then what if we start peeling off their limbs one by one, like string cheese? Ah! Please! Not like string cheese either! Pick a different metaphor! What about beef jerky? Okay, that's fine. It is? <laughs> I love the expression. So, okay, this is Panic Girl. This is Panic Girl. Ah! Ah, the red one! Uh, looking at them, there's no way they can all got tie together. The the mechanism just doesn't work. Of course, that's where you first your brain first goes to. Well, of course it is. Who who do you think I am? <laughs> Wait, we can't kill them with the exosols. According to the schedule, the exosols aren't supposed to show up till later. Looks like we blew it, gang. What are you saying? But. We're in the Exosols right now. <laughs> Are they in them? I mean, you can't even call that powered armor. Well, uh, 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 I mean, unless uh, you're in some kind of like cruciform position, which seems like it would just be agony instead of piloting. Could it be a translation thing? Ah! No, I, I oh, doubt that. Okay. Oh, so we are. How did you make that mistake? Oh. We screwed up. We're not supposed to be in the Exosols for our first appearance. Okay, all of you file out. Just pretend it didn't happen. Come in again. We'll do it all over. Don't worry. We'll, we'll make sure to have just the same reaction. Isn't that right, Panic Girl? <laughs> ah, not the same reaction. Pick a different one. Yeah, just like that. I told you we should have read the script. There's a script? <laughs> Can I see it? Can I see the script? I want to see that. I think it's really important. What are you saying? No, you didn't. <sighs> well, why don't we just get out of these mechs? It shouldn't be too late for that. Get out of? 
Now they did say take for a spin. Also, can I just say, I am literally the only person in the world who utterly despises the word mech. Ah, yeah. I hate it, I won't go into it, but I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I understand where it comes from in translation, and I understand that it's commonplace, and I think it's wrong, wrong, wrong. I agree with you because of the cultural connotations that the word brings up. 90%, I guarantee that's Kitai, and that there's no reason to translate that as mech. But, that's enough, I'll never bring this up again. <laughs> well, maybe once, but I'm not, I'm not gonna waste any more time on it. I'll hold him to okay. it. Okay. Yeah, let's do that. So. Okay, ready, go! <laughs> oh! Oh, okay, so they were piloted. Oh my god! Monotaro, Monosuke, Monophony, Monodum! <laughs> Mono Kid! And all the tension is gone. I, it never occurred to me. It never occurred to me that they could be piloted for, by very small robots. So if the robots are being remote controlled and aren't AI, then does that... Is all that is it I'm sorry, as... I got distracted by the song. Does that count as a, as a piloted robot or a remote controlled robot? Yeah, that's what I was trying to ask. Both. <laughs> two. Two. One. 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 <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I love this song already. E is all that remains. <laughs> <laughs> okay, One. okay, let's that, go. That's, that is so amazing. Amazing adventure showtime. Huh? Oh, the Gongon Robot riff in the background. Oh, I didn't even notice. Hey. He's a ninja? That appears to be the case, yes. Small ninja scarf. That me. The red should not be a ninja. Yeah, but the blue's also not normally hot-headed and bloodthirsty. Yeah. So aren't they all kind of betraying the tropes, which is kind you know of the what? thing Gon does? You know, the red and the blue, that definitely seems to be true because he's like kind of made a mistake and sort of apologized for it. And then is even the stealthy one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. And then the blue one, it, it, like you said, was violent and bloodthirsty instead of like cool and nihilistic or some such. See? Ooh, we're out of the exosols. Yeah, forget about those things. They don't matter. All right, now that they're out, gang up on them. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not scary anymore, right? 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 By the way, yeah? in the past, we had kind of had a reaction to, like, the previous games occasionally saying something ridiculous, like, well, why don't they just like go battle shonen and just go start destroying things uh, uh, okay uh. and you can make the case that perhaps we were trying we, that like we shouldn't look at the way they're talking about like the characters fighting power except, or, or whatever like that except except the anime portrays yeah. them as almost dbz level characters no no not <laughs> dbz that's ridiculous you can't go there but uh danganronpa v3 the, what's it was called? Well, the one where Makoto was the main character, that half. Uh, just the future, future arc. Was it future? That was a freaking battle shonen. Yeah! Okay, everything about it. So, in other words, it's actually completely reasonable to propose battle shonen solutions to Danganronpa, since Danganronpa is apparently, though this is not what I assumed it would be, a battle shonen. Again, go watch Danganronpa 3 and tell me it isn't. Exactly. Oh my, the bra. Is that like the Tokugawa symbol? It does appear to be that, yes. Small flower bra. Yep, that's me, all right. His desperation is strangely terrifying. Desperation is terrifying? No, that guy in the background is terrifying. <laughs> yeah, that like Russian assassin or something. He looks like he's going to kill me. You guys are ready? <laughs> <laughs> you punk asses better brace yourselves! Get a load of my chest hair! Ain't it sexy? Oh god, never speak again. 
It is! It's a Tokugawa bra! <laughs> That's right! Why Why is that a binky? They all have binkies! Well, they're the Monokuma, or the Monokub. It's part of their baby aesthetic. I'm a messenger from hell! From the depths of hell! Here to break it down the hell! Hey! <laughs> no, no, Mono Kid. You're saying hell too much. It's ruining the hellish impact. Adjust glasses in a refined way. <laughs> hey. Eh? What's hellish mean? What? Uh, what the hell is up with these stuffed animals? How are they moving? Hey, shouldn't, even if he doesn't know the actual answer to that, shouldn't they all know about the robot bears? They should, yeah. I mean, even if they don't, with technology being as advanced as it is, that should be a natural assumption? Maybe. Maybe you could go that far. Oh, I have no idea. Hey. Right now, Moving stuffed right animals. Yeah. I feel like we've heard that before. <laughs> I did not expect him to be the owner of that voice. Oh my. <laughs> Boy with cigarette. That would be you. What is even happening? <laughs> I really thought it was a lollipop. He's the ultimate chain smoker. Is that a talent? On top of that, it seems like they're calling themselves the Mono Cubs. I sense a connection. <laughs> Moving stuffed animals? Mono Cubs? Yeah, does it sound familiar? Huh? Wait, you guys call yourselves the Mono Cubs? I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. <laughs> That's Robo. Hanasemasen. <laughs> also, Monodum. Monodum. Yep. That's not Monodam. Nope. This is a robot, okay? That's Monodum. Yep. Because robots have a name that ends in dumb sometimes, unless it's Gur. Look, there's a very important naming scheme for robots, all right? Gur is for Sentai. Yes. But th this is a real robot, not a super robot. That's why it's not Gur or Jur, it's dumb. So. Oh, don't bother asking Monodum. I was asking all of you. He only talks to close friends. The years of abuse have really done a number on his heart. Isn't that right, <laughs> Monodum? Best friend, bosom buddy. Zaku toa chiga robo. Zaku toa. Yeah. <laughs> Monodum, you won't even open your heart to me! <laughs> I see. Looks like I was right. Actually. This is exactly what I thought it was. But who's behind all this? Why the ridiculous theatrics? Well, they've all had those. Yeah, that's a silly question. Actually, this is... Uh, maybe... This is middle of the pack as far as theatrics yeah. go. Yeah. Shut up! Oh, you are reacting way too normally to this! It's Bowman! <laughs> Actually, don't their clothes seem kind of boring too? What, do you want us to dress up or something? I again, they're all normal. Yeah. The thing that's not normal is all the robot bears. In the last game, we had two robot bears. Now we have five robot bears. I mean, how many robot bears are we going to have in the next one? Twelve? Well, well, to be technical, there were a lot of robot bears in the last game. Okay. Only two were characters. <laughs> hey. Wait a minute. You think maybe they haven't been given their first memory yet? That's called foreshadowing and saying something about the plot. Yeah? Huh? That should have happened before they woke up. Jeez. Hey, answer my question. If you guys are the Mono Cubs, then... This game isn't about you. It's about us. We're going to keep talking. Do you see <laughs> my Aho Day? Hey, who the hell are you, pugs? And where'd you come from? Right now, you're huh? 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 
that is a very large amount of hair covering Yon's face. You know what's sad is we're not gonna get out of this scene. Well, I mean, such is the nature of uh, everyone talking. Well, such is the nature of BSG as well. Yeah, but I didn't want to point that out. Girl with anime hair covering eye, as opposed to what? Non-anime hair covering the eye? Oh, fair enough. No, I think that's pretty clear. Remarkably conservative uniform that she's wearing there, too. Well, that's me. What do you mean? What? We was just wondering, do you guys have ultimate talents or anything like that? Why did you end up here in the first place? Did we not choose you? You're on the threshold of an amazing adventure. Ultimate talents? No. I don't have one. Good! <laughs> because our system was bull! And at the end of the anime, Makoto was the principal of the New Hope's Peak, and there's no way he would keep the ultimate system in place. All it did was cause problems. It's in, like, act as an excuse for ridiculous behavior. Yeah. And that's fine, but... <sighs> yeah, but then it led to, like, Izuru being created, and no. Just warped people with warped ideas, and that sort of, like, meritocratic value equals worshipped as savior yeah. of human race seems to me that maybe that's part of the reason everything went to hell, because it's such a terrible way to look at things. I have a skill that I devote myself to, but I wouldn't call it an ultimate talent. Uh, um... <laughs> me either. I, I don't have anything like that. All I've got is a hat that I've managed to weld to my head so the bill always faces the right direction. <laughs> Okay. See, watch! That was the sound of me moving my head back and forth. Thank you for clarifying. I couldn't tell. Oh, I'm dizzy now. Yeah, same here. Told you so! I knew it! They haven't gotten their first memory yet! Hey! Oh, yeah, I have no idea what their names are. Was it the ninja Monotaro? Monosuke. Oh no, uh, Okay, okay. Monosuke is the tiger yellow. Right now. Mono Kid is the blue one. Mono with with the, the guff uh, shoulder plates. Because <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah, okay? you're right. It you're is. Right. He's blue and those are shoulder plates with the spike on them that come from the guff, which is also blue. Monophony, weren't you in charge of that? That you you're not fooling anybody. <laughs> She's sleeping. Did she seem really tired to you guys? <laughs> you stupid. She's obviously faking it. <laughs> Nobody would believe this. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> uh, even if she's faking, she looks so peaceful. Let's whisper so we don't wake her up. <laughs> I am the kind evil bear. <laughs> if you say so. Um. A anyway, if you guys really are the Mono Cubs, then. Who cares? Don't worry about us. The real issue is you, bastards. I feel like we should worry about you. Whisper. Oh, I'm sorry. I feel like we really should worry well, about Well, issue you. is putting it mildly. This is actually a huge problem. You have all forgotten your talents and become generic high school students. And thus it has magically changed your clothing. What? what? They're talking about how normal they look, but if they were Ultimates before and just lost their memory, shouldn't they still be dressed like Ultimates? You know, that's a good <laughs> Huh? Huh? Why are they doing all the huzz? I'm doing the huzz now! <laughs> I'm so wrecked as a human! So? You see, according to the backstory, it's right here in the script, <laughs> there's this ultimate hunt going on! That remains of a once you all lost your memories and become different people because of the ultimate hunt! What? Is there some person going around collecting ultimate talents? Huh. 
ultimate hunt. So after all this happens, what, like Izuru is floating around using his psychic teleportation to uh, like gather all the people with great talents to sacrifice them to like the, the god of ultimate meritocracy to prove his scientific and technocratic expertise to rule the world. Yeah, that sounds about right. By the way, I mean, we really don't like this ultimate stuff. <laughs> Um, what are you talking about? Don't worry about it. Just go watch our other Let's Plays and you'll probably have a decent idea. Oh, well. Oh, you weren't talking to me. Sorry. <laughs> well, in your current state, it's pretty much pointless to talk to you guys about this. Hmm. The first thing we need you guys to do is remember your true selves. Then why did you make us forget in the first place? Well, don't ask me a question like that. I don't remember. I have to check the script. That's okay. Yeah, you need to reclaim your sealed talents by regaining your memories. I'm sleep talking. What? What the? Are you awake already? Why? What? What is this? Where was he? Well, I don't remember ever seeing him. No, how can we see everybody in the background? Right? Especially when they look so normal and pedestrian. <laughs> this is you. I don't get it. What are these sealed talents you're talking about? Is it the power of hairstyling? <laughs> How are we supposed to talk when you keep asking so many freaking questions? Oh, I'm supposed to whisper. Oh, yeah, we're not some swift-footed singer who's landed another future ex-boyfriend. What? Excuse me? I'm not quite sure I understand it myself. Three is all that remains of a once powerful nation. Three is all that <laughs> remains. This music is amazing. Daremo ni tome takunai. Wakasaki yu ayamachi onobo. Well said, well said. Oh well. Let's do this already. No one wants to watch a bunch of generic high school whiners. This game won't even last three chapters. <laughs> That's right! First, we'll update your wardrobe so you guys look all cute and spiffy. What does that mean? We're not in another digital world, are we? I mean, unless they're just going to pop in some closets. Well, I don't see why not, but... Huh. Or is it they're not dressed all crazy? Oh. They weren't dressed all crazy so they could, like, have their, uh, hide from the ultimate hunters. Oh, that makes sense. Oh, no, that was obviously what it is. It's just, that's ridiculous. <laughs> Insert Precure or Sailor Moon joke. Hmm, I wonder what her talent is. Hmm. Oh, my God. Huh? What, what, what am I wearing? I... I... I think I'm kind of offended by this. But at least it'll be easier to keep everybody straight. Three. We are on the threshold of an amazing ending. Find out next time. Yeah. That was so lame, Billy. Huh? 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 Uh? 